video, I'm going to be doing more of a crafty video. I got this paper mache book box, which I will insert here. I got it a few years ago after our wedding to decorate and put wedding knickknacks in, and I just never got around to it. It's been sitting in my desk drawer, holding pencils, and organizing my extra office supplies since we moved here. And I recently got promoted at work to a more permanent job. Last year I subbed at the school and this year I'm actually being an educational aide. So I'm gonna be there every day, I'm gonna have a desk, I'm super excited about it. And the first thing I did was start to figure out what I wanted to put on my desk to organize my things so my day would be a little bit easier. While I was searching my desk drawer for things like pens and pencils that I wanted, I found this box and I was like, you know, that'd be really cute to decorate put on my desk at work. So that's what I did, and I'm going to show you guys how I did it, so just keep watching. This is the paper machine book box I got from Michaels. They also had it in a wooden version, but I didn't see it there at the time, but it would definitely be a cute option too. The things you're going to need are a plate or something to mix your paints on, and then I also have this white paint that I've had forever. It's just a multi-purpose white paint from Folk Art. This video is not sponsored by any of these things or Michaels, just FYI. Um, I also had these metallic paints, this pink reddish tone and this purple color and I know I didn't have a lot of purple left so I was going to just mix them together. And then you're also going to need some kind of sponges or paintbrushes which I have both an assortment of. So the first thing I did was decide to paint the pages white. Um, I was going to go back in and texture them to make them look a little more page-ish when I was done with the original top coat. But they actually ended up looking a little pagey anyway from the paper mache box, so I didn't bother with doing anything extra, just painted them white. And then I realized I really didn't have any purple left, so I ended up pouring the red paint into the purple paint to make it more of a pinkier tone and then I added some more white just to lighten it up a bit and then shook it up and this is what I came out with and then I just painted the whole box. And then I ended up going back and trying to get the edges of the inside really good. I didn't paint the interior of the box, but I did paint the interior edges. Um, I would recommend going back in with a paintbrush. I actually ended up doing this off camera while I was letting it dry because I was staring at it and it looked a little messy. So I got a paintbrush and really went in on those edges and cleaned them up with the white and the pink where they meet. Um, so definitely be careful when you're doing this because it can get really messy really quick. But I'm really glad that I did the white coat first because I ended up having to go back and do a second coat just to thicken it up so you didn't see the brown paper mache box underneath. So I let it dry overnight so it would be nice and dry and not sticky and I didn't want to close the box all the way and then, it has, then have it stick together and mess with the paint. So I just let it sit overnight didn't mess with it. And this is what I came out with. So like I said, I'm going to use this box on my desk to put my pens, pencils, and that kind of thing in. Anything I need to grab quick on my desk at work. You can also use this as a regular book though and stick it on your bookshelf and hide things in it, which I think is really cool. So there are definitely ways to decorate this to make it look more bookish and more realistic, but that was not my intended purpose, and honestly I'm not that skilled with painting, so I just kept it simple. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely had a lot of fun decorating this box. I actually went back and stuck these little embellishments on it after the fact, um, just to make it look a little more book whimsical, because I am going to be setting it on my desk like this, so I thought it would give it a cuter flair. Um, but it's still empty because I actually ordered a lot of things from Amazon more pencils, pens, that kind of thing. I am obsessed with office supplies. This is like my dream come true because I actually have an excuse to buy a few pens and pencils and I'll actually use them. So I'm pretty stoked. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys find cute things to DIY to make your desk look a little bit cuter. 
um, or just your bookshelf. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing week.